Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Why I write everything off that I buy in the Philippines. Um, basically, you find in the Philippines, if you're selling something, people try to buy it at the lowest rate. If you're not selling it, they'll offer it. Offer to buy it at a stupid rate. Uh, unless they really want it, then you'll be lucky still to get the right price. Um, now, first thing is, I, today we had somebody put a quote in. They wanted to buy our 4x4. Um, they offered us 120,000 pesos. Uh, we paid a quarter of a million for it, and we spent over 70,000 pesos having the engine rebuilt. So it's it's in good condition, and you can guess what? We didn't sell it. Uh, um, as my wife put it, she'd rather see it rot. And I'm in that way. Basically, it's paid for, it's written off. It's, it, it's no, I'm not selling, you know, if somebody says, oh, can I buy it? They come with a reasonable price because uh, it has been maintained. It's it's had a lot of work done to it. And in the Philippines, you can buy a newer car in worse condition than, than our 4 by 4 But the same goes for buildings because a lot of condos and whatever are inflated prices. If you're getting a place in the Philippines, get it to keep it. Don't get it as an investment. I would never advise anybody to invest in the Philippines um, unless it's actually something they you can take with you. The call center, for example, the computers are there, they're paid for, and it's all paid for out of profit. So it's what I call not real money. Um, we've got about 45 PCs there. They can sit there for the next 10 years. It doesn't bother me. It's, it didn't cost me nothing. Um, but at the same time, I know a lot of people are asking, should I buy a property here as an investment? Personally, I'd say no. Everybody I know has had problems. Unless you're buying an empty lot and developing it as a development, I would say no. Um, first thing is, a lot of tenants are nuts. They really are nuts. Um, there's somebody I know where near where we live. The guy he rented out to for six months, an American guy. He then like didn't like the fact that he was being asked to leave because I think the house was being sold. Um, his tenancy had already expired, but the guy wanted to continue living there because he lived there and he basically thought he, he could stay there as long as he liked. Um, when he left, he stole the TVs. That's pretty normal sort of thing, which is why when you see my places advertised, they're basic. Um, the reason I put basic is A, nothing gets stolen. B, if they're basic, you can buy stuff yourself. So. Um, it's like Albert. Albert comes and goes to the Philippines. Um, I think he stops in the Philippines about four to six months of the year. So when he goes back, his apartment is emptied and all his stuff goes in storage free of charge. So when he comes back, he just goes and gets his box, puts the box back and he's got all his stuff. So he buys himself a nice TV, etc., etc., keeps it all together. And that's his stuff. Um, I have no issues with that. And at the same time, um, it means that you've got that little place that's yours. Um, if you're there all year round, if you wanted to change stuff, it's up to you. I don't care. But when you're having tenants, you have to be aware they might steal stuff. They might break stuff. They might not care because it's not you, not theirs. Albert was a very good tenant. Um, he looks after his place very well. Even when the shower broke, um, he was like, went halves with the, the the woman that owns the place. Because this isn't my place, by the way. His, he, he went behind my house um, from the sister of my wife's grandfather. Um, she's a very old lady in her 80s. <laughs> but, um, but it's a nice, quiet little apartment that he rents out there. But anyway, good tenants are hard to find. Um, there's a lot of drunks, you got a lot of village idiots, a lot of people with no money. Um, that is normal in the Philippines. It's just, it's not just the expats, by the way, there's a lot of locals like it. Locals are terrible. I know some resorts that don't even let locals use them because of the state they get them in. Um, 
not all locals are like that, but the problem you have is a bad person can create a lot of damage. You could have a thousand good people, but that one person will cost you more than you made off that other thousand. That's why people get a bit fussy about who uses what. So that's what I'm saying with property as an investment. If you're getting it for yourself, I would say go ahead, but write it off. Don't expect to sell it. Um, if you sell it and get a good, good rate later on, good luck to you. But don't see it as a, it will go up um, because a lot don't. Decker Homes properties are a prime example. Um, I know where we are, there's some that are 20 minutes by motorcycle. Those properties are worth less than they pay for them. And most people are still paying the mortgage on them. But they're advertising them that they go up by 10% a year, yet the rent or yields are less than the mortgages are. So how's that work? So yeah, don't invest anything that you want. Um, camera equipment, I've had some Canon stuff in there that's genuine, etc. Work great. Um, stuff like that, branded, is fine. You may pay a premium for it, but there's a reason you pay a premium. But I do not buy things like electronics, TVs and stuff. The humidity is not good for them. The electrical spiking, the brownouts, etc., are not good for electrical circuits. So would I invest in a new TV? Uh, I spent 20,000 on the one that hangs in my apartment, with my, me and my wife's apartment, but I wouldn't spend any more than that. Uh, a, I don't watch TV, but B, the chance of it getting damaged are pretty high. Um, if you don't, if it's not switched off, switched on, there's a good chance ants move in there because ants like eating the stuff that's on circuit boards as well. Um, so all that stuff is be aware of it. Personally, write it off. Um, don't assume anything's a long-term investment because um, it isn't. Cameras, for example, are an investment because I use them for blogging. Um, so that that is something that actually created a return by the way it's used. But the actual item itself is a loss. Um, there's no way I'd get anywhere near what I paid for it if I wanted to sell it again, uh, even if it was the week after, purely because of the way things are in the Philippines. People don't like to pay more than they have to as such. They all like really thumb you down on it. All right, thanks for watching.